Hi friends. Today we are unboxing the Aero Garden. It is Harvest Six Pod. You can see right here. So it says it comes with a six pot 20 watt LED garden plus free seed pot kit. So it has these herbs that you can grow. I don't think that's the first thing I'm gonna grow in the Aero Garden because I also got this Aero Garden seed starting system. And I think it's 20 to 25 of these little pods and you can start your seeds in there and then transplant them outside. So I thought that would be really fun to try. So I have done a little bit of research on the Aero Garden systems just to figure out which one to buy. And this harvest with six pods, it seemed like a good like starter Aero Garden because we've never had one before. And so I wanted to show you what it was like to unbox it because when we were trying to figure out which one to buy, we wanted to find an unboxing video and it really didn't include everything that we wanted to see in it. So hopefully this is helpful for you if you are trying to figure out which one to buy. All right, so let's go. Let's see, so we've got some recipes. Quick setup guide, nice. I like quick setup, so we'll use that. Let's see what this is. Gourmet Herb Seed Pod Kit. I'm gonna set that to the side because we're not gonna use it right now, but I will open it at the end of the video and show you what's in it. Plug. I do like how it's very nicely packaged in these thick, I don't know if that's a clamshell or what the right term is, but I doubt it could be damaged. here. Add plant food, add water, light on and off. Our power to our pump, or maybe that's, I don't know what that is. Power. This is really easy to raise and lower. So. Power plug. Let's see what our guide says. So number one says here, make sure that the bowl is securely seated in the base and that the grow deck is properly aligned in the bowl. So this is the grow deck. This whole thing is the bowl. Grow deck's on top. And the base is this gray part at the bottom. Base. Okay, so it's properly aligned. Number two, make sure the pump cord is plugged into the connector at the back of the base. Plug the power cord adapter. Pump plugged in and we'll plug the power cord into the base. Be right back, I'm gonna plug this in. When I plugged it in, I can hear the 
mic came on and I can hear it humming, so it's doing something. I'm gonna show you the grow lights. And then this add food and add water light are now blinking. So let's see what step three is. Add water to the field to here, add plant food directly to the bowl as per instructions. So I know that the water goes here from watching people on Instagram. So let's take this off and look in here. It said, says, add water to the fill to here. So where is fill to here? Oh, here fill, here's fill to here right here. You see it? Okay. So. because it's spitting at me. Oh, here we go. This goes over here. There we go. All right, so we've made kind of a mess already. So I can see, you raise this up so you can see too. See that the water is already cycling. See it's each seed pod area, hole, whatever. I'm sure there's an official term for it, but each one has a water source. So pretty cool, we're making progress. Let's see what our next step is. Oh, we didn't finish three. So we add water to the field of here, add plant food directly to bowl as per instructions. Food instructions might be in our seed kit. So this has, it says it's a six pod kit. Easy to grow, add water and plant food, drop in pre seeded pods, guaranteed to germinate. Actually, let's open this. Because this is what I actually want to use in it right now. So we have some. We have the tray, so basically this fits in the same spot as this, and so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. <laughs> They're floating up, so I, I have suspect that As these absorb the water see they're already starting to that they'll sink down in it and they won't be floating so all right cool so let's see we have plant food liquid plant food this says as per instructions so we have a six pod machine two capfuls at startup and every two weeks. Shake bottle, add plant food directly into water bowl. The cap on the bottle holds four milliliters. Use this cap as a measuring tool when feeding. So that's nice, okay. Let's open that up. I'm going for it. there put that back so 
So add water to fill to here, add plant food directly to bowl as per instructions, we did that. Place seed pods and openings on the grow deck. Cover seed pods loosely with grow domes. So we're not using that system, so I'm gonna switch over to this and see what's up. Save them for future use. If you're our garden, we need them. Insert the seed starter tray with grow sponges. Tip for best results. Soak, soak the grow sponges in water for 24 hours before seeding. See, they need to soak up that water. Okay. Insert seeds into grow sponge openings using fingertips or tweezers. For larger seeds, cut half inch opening and grow sponge with scissors and insert one to two seeds. So I like this system because you can use seeds that you already have, and I'm particular about what I grow, and I wanna grow certain things, so. And so the seeds will go down in there. They'll stay moist from the water that's cycling. And um, nice, the plant food's already in there. So if we were using this, let's see what the pods look like. says place seed pods and opening on the grow deck so it would be this is still wet so it'd be something like this this is mint um cover pods loosely with grow domes so easy schmeasy so that's what comes in the seed pod kit we also look at the seed starting system which is what's in there now once these have soaked for 24 hours. I'll go ahead and put seeds in them and see what we can get started. And then um, in the next video, I'll show you how we seed it. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. We're a brand new channel and it would mean so much to us. Thanks.